Hello and welcome back. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign in EU4. Going for Kale. Eat your greens achievement. We lost our prosperity in a few places. Hopefully it's coming back over here. We have a pretty good chance of, of gaining it. Our current ruler is a 326. Not too bad. Mission strength plus one is also helping out quite a bit. We got one more month on the Arisen Separatists, and then we can start that conversion. We also have a little bit of unrest in our capital, Bengal Delta. Uh, what edicts are we running right now? Just have Fetal Du Jour Law over here, which we can turn off and switch over to Missionary Strength starting right now. Switch over to Missionary Strength. Let's do conversion of that place. And we can officially vassalize you. I sent him a gift. We're still at 7 out of 5 relations, but now we have even more land force limit. 51 land force limit. Still need to be, again, focused on sieges. You can keep your trade money, that's fine. I don't mind them actually having a little bit of cash if it helps them to build an army, I guess. Make sure we have the maneuver guy in charge, try to avoid the attrition. Okay, so we are currently at peace. We have three months of war exhaustion. We are rivaled to Bahmanis, Ayutthaya, and Vijanagar. Ayutthaya makes us fight Ming. Ming's on tech 678 to our 578. We have tech advantage over Ayutthaya. We could integrate Pegu. I'd like to get rid of at least one subject. We have a few too many right now. And the relationship with Delhi is also something that I want to get rid of. Delhi is at peace. He is rivaled to Bahmanis, Vijanagar, and Mewar. Where is the most grassland? There's quite a bit down in Vijanagar. Not much in Bahmanis. Let's check and see which war would make more sense right now. Bahmanis on Tech 8, Vijanagar on Tech 7. We declare war directly on Vijanagar. We have to fight Kutch, Andra, all of these dudes. I think we declare war on Andra and use it as a proxy war to force Vijanagar to release a bunch of people. We'll make the war goal um, on Asima. Will Delhi join? Distant war, war exhaustion, diplomatic reputation plus 11. I'm capped on military points. So, annexed subjects penalty. That drops off in at 97. If we can wait till March, we can just call him in. All right. Also, I spent legitimacy with the intention of strengthening government back up. Janagar has, sorry, Delhi has negative eight reasons now. The medical reputation is still not enough. Our current advisor is what? It's the diplomat guy. I think I'll also spend some cash to keep the clergy loyal so that we can get that conversion speed back. I think we, we lost some right there for a little bit. Yeah, this is pretty quick. 4.5 should become 6.5 now. So I have one loan to pay off, and I guess maybe we improve with Delhi for a second. Sorry, Pego, you can't become a marsh. I intend to integrate you. While you're at, we'll become a tributary state underneath Ming. Missionary falls ill. Lose admin or local missionary strength minus five until 1501. That's really awful. I guess we'll just convert a different province then. I think a few more months to get Delhi into the war is probably worth the wait. I don't think anything else is really going to change, probably. He says. Watch it all change. Letting his war exhaustion come down is also not a bad idea anyway. And my war exhaustion and my subjects war exhaustion, because they did they did some work. Ratanpur probably, probably got a little bit of war exhaustion, right? No, he's totally fine.
I think that in a couple months here, I'm going to... Do that click. And annex this guy as well. If we annex him, we get adjacency to no one else that we don't already have a relationship with. There's really no reason to annex him unless he's got grasslands. And even then, our subjects can own the grasslands. It doesn't have to be us. So what can we do about the... Just lost my train of thought again. Hmm. Gotta pay off the loan. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Completely lost my train of thought. We've gained three naval force limit. That's a thing we could do, but we haven't had positive income for a while. Or excess income for a while. Oh, right. I was thinking about changing my focus. Is that what it was? I think. Back to admin. Yeah, I think so. We're really behind on admin. I need admin points. Lose diplo power or get reduced trade power? I don't want to lose diplo power. Limbu Wan did a thing. Song is at peace. He will become a tributary. Let's do that. Can I warn him before I make him into a tributary, I wonder? He's like... He's got claims on everything. He's probably going to try to attack Sikkim. And if I make him a tributary, he will. Maybe it'd be better to leave him not there. It's just that he leaves you and this guy alone. And I can guarantee that... You know, two tributaries, really three tributaries, are better than one. If anything, we could attack this guy and force him to spit those subjects back out again. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Guess I'm just waiting for annex subjects to drop off here in March, and then we declare war on Andra. Well, the marriage of Delhi just ended. That's fine, we don't need to re-up it. I think there's seven reasons. No, we had to renew the loan. Now we're so diplomatic that he'll do it anyway. Let's make make the war goal uh, Kanasima. It'll be a little bit slower to siege, but that's all right. Let's hide the whole navy because I don't trust it to survive. Let's grab our where the four four one one. And I want to take. Take five cannons, plus the two cav, and we'll go down to like just twelve infantry. Because I'm a little bit concerned about the ability of the army to actually get where it needs to go. All right, so we're fighting Vijayanagar. <clears throat> There's thirty-three thousand troops on their side. Let's sell this navy to hunt enemy fleets, and if it does make sense to to engage, it will automatically do it. And if it doesn't, they will hide, which is convenient for me. We have diplomatic expenses. We don't need to pay these anymore because he's now our subject. Let's just cancel subsidies here. Subsidies here, rather. We've got interest on the one loan, state maintenance on the conversion. The forts are all active. We're rooting out corruption. Everything else is fine. Reward taxes. Should turn that on. Two heavies, eight lights versus my 12 lights. They have no leader. Yeah, I think that I'm going to trust the Navy to just do its job. If it made sense to, to fight, they would go out there and fight. But there's probably enough reinforcements nearby that they don't want to do it. With good reason. Getting close to the military point cap again. I was still hoping to... Um, do a military ID group, but we are not looking like we're going to be able to do it for a while. We've got... Gotta get to tech 7. The cost for admin tech is only 454 points, but you know, I just I don't I don't have enough admin points. We could try to running a higher level advisor soon, possibly even try to get a half level advisor, like say a half price inquisitor. Yeah, let's do that. It was actually half price level three. All right, that's fine. We can afford that. That'll help out with the existing conversion and probably allow us to convert the other province despite that temporary penalty as well. Missionary strength here will be 3.5% despite the 5% penalty. We are engaging the Vijanagari army. 
We have a 4-4 leader against a 1-1 leader. We've got morale advantage, discipline advantage. We've got cannons. They don't have cannons. And we now have a 2 siege trip leader here. And because we have so many tributaries... <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 tributaries. That's worth 200 manpower per month on top of the 183. Basically doubles our manpower per month. And don't forget the 500 manpower per month from the... Nope. Correction. 600 manpower per month from the 6 vassals. We currently have six. Also, the relationship with what's-his-face is going to end now. This attrition is pretty rot rotten, though. Um, we're going to leave... Let's pull the cav and most of these guys off. Here. And then I'm just going to shift consolidate the rest. Wait, why would you engage this subject? Ratanpur, why are you doing this? Ratanpur, stop that. Here, I, I will tell you to come here instead, and maybe you'll actually stay? Stay. Nope. Like, we do have to suffer the attrition. Let's get this army to just go pile in then. If they're gonna throw everything they can at this one location, then... Oh, we actually caught my army. Crap. I'm gonna make it to the 19th. One more day. That is some heinous, heinous attrition. We've only lost 3,600, but it feels awful. We've lost far more to battle, but I swear, the attrition just... it calls to me. It looks dirty. I don't like it. Might even consider... Hey, we've become a great power! Oh my god, that makes things so much easier! 343. Now we can do great power influence on all of our derps and make them super loyal for like no money at all because they're all OPMs. Let's just start going going around for five ducats, yes, please. I know I have one more loan to pay off, but we recently recently renewed it anyway, so let's just do a round of influence nation on every subject. Just so that I know that they're all synced up. That was all of those. One, two, three, four, five. And then Pegu? Probably not, because we're about to integrate him. The reason that I like doing the Great Power Influence, by the way, even though it's going to cost us a little bit of money, is it, get, it gets you five trust, and it gives them more Monarch Points, which they usually use for good things, you know, tech and whatever. Let's do... Improve Nations with... Improve with our own subject countries again. Agarang or whatever got a thing done. Liberty Desire is, like, super low right now, but mostly because we have no, um... We have super high liberty, uh, super high diplomatic reputation at the moment. So close to having prosperity back. This is what it is. Religion changes to Hindu. Sri Kakalam gets... We have religious zeal here, so I can't convert this again. Local missionary strength plus one doesn't work. Well, apparently either way it's going to do it, so... That's annoying.
Okay, we're gonna engage Vijanagar, or rather we were going to, we did not though. Let's um, actually avoid the attrition if we can. I'd like for my subjects to just kind of swarm in, which they're slowly starting to do. I'm not really sure what Delhi's up to. He's got the Hindu zealots he's dealing with. There's his army. All right, yep. Delhi's going to take care of sieging most of the stuff out. We called him in on a promise of nothing. So he's going to do all the heavy lifting. I'm just going to focus on cleaning some of this crap up. We got Rissan separatists now in Bengal, which is kind of funny because there were just recently Bengal separatists in other places. And Let's grab the guy with slightly better maneuvers so we can reinforce faster and get to where we need to be a little bit quicker. As a slightly too difficult fort for this guy to siege. Or is it just declared independence, in fact? Not from me, but from nobody. It says that I have no CB, but I, I, I most certainly have a CB against him. I can see it. He's already allied to Jarkhand. But we're a great power now. So if I had to, I could use Break Alliance on him. Or we could just attack him. I wouldn't mind separate piecing Jarkhand just for the money. Midnapur is not grasslands, but it's part of this state, which we just conquered recently. And I'd like to just control the whole thing. It's all coastline. I need more naval power if I want to fight Ming. I don't mind fighting Jarkand, so yes, I think we declare now before we can get any other annoying allies. Take care of that rebellion first. One of my subjects could probably take care of that. Mongolia is independent. One of my subjects is being sieged over here. We should probably pay off that final loan. Ugh, we're just not making nearly as much money as we were a moment ago. That level 3 advisor is actually eating into the profits quite a bit. And this missionary strength edict is kind of expensive. Do we actually need it? We do need the edict on, I think, to make that conversion happen at that 5% penalty. sure what Delhi's doing. Let's see if we can just convince Delhi to like siege down that thing and then go for the actual capital of the enemy. Undesh did a thing. Diplomatic relations plus one or diplo power plus 50? Diplo relations plus one for the next 10 years. That's 120 months. That's basically 120 diplo since we're already over the limit. This is only 50 diplo. Easy choice. Okay, final loan has been paid off. I want to build more ships. I want to build probably marketplaces in a few places. 
Um, I definitely want to build workshops soon, as soon as we get Admin Tech 6, so we should save some money for that. Also, we've got the build buildings thing that I want, so we need to build a couple more temples and a couple workshops. I've got a claim on you. I'd probably want to spit out Limbuan, so... Even though this has got the higher development and everything, I think we'll just take a claim on this province. Maybe even get another claim on him. Take two claims, just because that land is kind of, kind of nice. I'm gonna have to go down there and fight Andra again soon. Let's take, uh... This army and this army down to Ganjum for now. It does, it does feel like there's, like, subjects that, like, aren't doing anything. Like, this guy in particular is not actually doing anything, which is kind of funny. Uh, let's tell them to, again, like, have no focus, and then, like, siege focus. Maybe we get them to go do something. Just kind of hanging out. Okay. You, sir, I need money. Money plus, uh, force religion. Could pay 14 dip to make him to a tributary. That's not a lot of dip. Not really. We've got minus 61% right now. How long would it take for me to make him into a tributary otherwise? Yeah, I think I'll do it. Can't do war ups while he's a subject. Give up your claims, though, so you don't fight each other, please. And we'll peace out Orissa for full annexation. And I do want to revoke most of his cores on my land, at least. Maybe we leave him with that core, though. And that core. So that eventually we could maybe create him as a subject again and keep him as a tributary. Bunch of coalition, don't really care. I don't think that aggressive expansion is an actual concern right now. This new province we will immediately give to the clergy. We now have 95% influence, which is a bit concerning. And we'll get that thing cored soon. They broke their siege of Rata Ratanpur. Looks like they might see this fight's coming. Let's just go take the fight now before they have a chance. Ah, damn it, they took it. Alright, well, we'll take the fight anyway. Before the garrison can recover very much. It's only at 100, so. We could, since we're ahead of time on Miltech. Um, I know we're about to do an ID group, but I could just barrage this. Keep the ticking war score going, I think that's worthwhile. We are getting pretty low on manpower, even though I've got all of this manpower coming in. Okay, I'm going to take a short break here. I'll be back in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. Hope you're enjoying the campaign so far, and I'll see you in the next episode. See you soon.